I'm Ryan O'Connell, and in this video, we're going to be diving into what I consider to be a fairly interesting topic of leverage. One thing you'll notice is that leverage increases portfolio returns if the investment returns exceeds the borrowing rate. Now, if the opposite is true, so if the borrowing rate actually was higher than the investment returns, then we would say that leverage decreases portfolio returns. So I'm gonna dive into an example that can illustrate how all of this works. So there is this formula for calculating portfolio returns, but I'm gonna do it a more intuitive way and then we'll jump into the formula afterwards. So let's say hypothetically, that we could borrow at 0%. So our borrowing rate is 0%. And then also our investment returns 20% in hindsight. So let's walk through two different calculations for portfolio returns, one with leverage and one without. So let's say our initial capital invested in both situations is $100,000. So in the no leverage situation, we invest 100K. With leverage, we invest 100K. But with the leverage, we actually borrow 400K. With no leverage, we wouldn't borrow at all. There's no leverage. Now, our total initial investment is this plus this, right? So our total initial investment is going to be just the 100K for the no leverage situation. But we have 500K invested if we initially put down 100K and then we borrowed 400K more in now, let's say hypothetically that the price rises 20%, right? That is the investment return, rises by 20%. So in this case, what would be the new total? Well, this one would go up to 120K. This one would go up to 600K. I'm just multiplying both of these values by 1.2. Now, what is the return on both of these? Well, the return can be calculated by taking the new price minus the old price and then dividing by our initial capital. So let me write that out. In the case of no leverage, we invested 100 initially. It grew to 120. So the total growth is 20. Then we divide it by the initial amount that we put down, which was just the 100. And we see that we achieved this 20% return. However, with this one, we had it at 500K and it grew to 600, so it grew by 100K. We only put the initial 100K down, so we actually had a 100% return when we leveraged. So this leverage increased our return. And now we can jump over to the actual official formula from the CFA Institute textbook where we want to find our portfolio's return. So we're going to say it's equal to the investment return, so equal to 20% plus the value of borrowed funds divided by the value of portfolio equity. The value of borrowed funds is 400K and the value of portfolio equity is 100K. Now we can multiply by the investment returns minus the borrowing rate. The investment return is what? 20%. The borrowing rate we said as an example was 0%. So we're just multiplying that by 20%. And if we do all that algebra, we're gonna come up with an answer of 100%, which matches this calculation that we got with leverage. You can get 15% off full CFA courses featuring my lecture videos by clicking the link in either the pinned comment or the description and using promo code Ryan15 at checkout.